Hey guys, and welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seegers, and this time we're joined by Derek Banner and Ash Paulson to discuss everything Amiibo. So let's get started. Alright guys, so one of the things Nintendo showed off uh, at E3 um, are, are basically little figurines you can scan into your games and have them do different things depending on the game. Um, and Nintendo's calling them Amiibo. Now, we only saw one game use this at E3, uh, being Smash Brothers. In which case, you can you can scan like ind individual figurines, and yeah, you can train them up to either you know fight alongside them, like in a team match, or a fight against them. And these characters are you know so they're basically CPU opponents, um, but they will get stronger, uh, you know, even apparently above what the normal CPUs get. They'll like learn new techniques, or learn how to better fight against, um, you know, you know against you, for instance. It all sounds you know very interesting, and that is just the tip of the iceberg for you know Nintendo's use of amiibo. Uh, because they, they mentioned that you'll be able to use the same figurines in different games. And the other games they know about uh, that will support Amiibo will be Yoshi's Woolly World, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Mario Party 10, and Mario Kart 8. Um, so clearly there's a lot of potential here, Nintendo thinks there is at least. And uh, we know too that you'll be able to scan these in on your 3DS as well. Uh, you know, again, for using Smash Brothers and presumably other games as well. So I guess let's go and start off with you know, surface level impressions. Um, but yeah, what what do you guys think about having these uh, you know Skylander like figures you can now play with in your Nintendo games? Well, I've never actually played any of the Skylander type games, and I never played Skylanders, never played uh, Disney Infinity. Though I was tempted with Disney Infinity because I am a Disney fan, and you know the figurines look good and all that stuff. But I think this might be my breaking point where. Damn it! I'm gonna have to get these mm -hmm. <laughs> because I, I think the quality does look really good on on these figurines, and the fact that the mere fact that you can use these for multiple games makes mm -hmm. it so much better in my mind than Skylanders or um, Disney Infinity because you have to constantly you, know, you, you want to get more, of course, to, for Disney Infinity just because of new characters, but for Skylanders you got to change up the characters for each game. Um, so the, removing that makes it a slightly cheaper option. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I fear for my wallet. I mean, I, I think, I think uh, if I had been a little younger at the time that Skylanders came out, I would have been, you know, I, I would have been that kid who wanted every single figure because right. I mean, that's just, it's really cool. I mean, I, I play all the Skylanders games at E3, like you know, each new demo, and I'm constantly impressed by the by the tech behind it and and how cool those little figures are. I, I mean, I, I don't really have the time to play to play a game like Skylanders anymore uh, and, and collect all those figures. But if we're talking N Nintendo. Like I said, I fear for my wallet. I'm going to want to buy every single one of these figures, probably build a little shelf for them in my place and, and have them all, you know, lined up. I mean, I'm going to want every single figure. And, uh, yeah, Nintendo's definitely got me here. And, I, I I mean, I think it is a delicate balance, though. I mean, Nintendo has, they definitely stand to make a lot of money from this, but they have to, you know, certainly temper it and be careful with with how much content they actually lock behind these Amiibo figures. And I, I do have faith in Nintendo not to lock too much, uh, or well, really lock any integral content, like stages, characters, uh, things like that, behind these Amiibo figures. I do think that they'll, they'll remain used for uh, kind of ancillary elements, but, uh, you know, they, they, they do have to be careful not to make consumers feel like they're being taken advantage of. You think so? I, I, I don't know if Nintendo would be that conservative with them. Well, I guess, I, I think it would be okay in a game like Mario Party 10, where maybe you get new characters via Amiibo figures, because as we know in Mario Party, characters don't actually differ from, you know, in, in terms right. of stats or abilities. So that I think is okay. I'm just mean for a game like Smash Brothers or like Mario Kart where they're part of different weight classes or part of, you know, who, who, who are, they're different characters entirely with different abilities. I don't think they're going to do that necessarily. I don't think they would lock characters in that way. But yeah, I think for characters where, uh, or for games where the characters are interchangeable, I think, yeah, I think that would be okay. Yeah, um, so I'm, I'm totally torn on this. Like, on one hand, I, I think it's cool. It's a very smart move for Nintendo. Um, you know, Skylanders is a money-making machine, or has been at least. And it's actually kind of surprising it's taken Nintendo this long to finally start capitalizing on this. Um, on the other hand, I'm one who, in the last few years, like, I've, I, I've, like, I, you know, I threw away all my, you know, DVDs and CDs, all my cases, my game boxes. I don't like having a bunch of crap around the house anymore. <laughs> um, right, I and, understand. And this is more plastic crap I'm going to have to keep around in order to make use of, you know, potential features of games. Like, you know, take the um, the, the one you to know about for sure in Smash Brothers. Um, you know, which is cool. You know, I do like the idea of being able to train up this character. The thing is, you don't need a figure to do that. You, you could be able to, you, you know, they should allow you to do that without having to have the figure. There's no reason to have the figure there except to transport it to other people's games. Um, there's no reason why they couldn't build that base functionality into the game. Um, so that already is an example of locking away some some content 
uh, you know, behind these figures. And, you know, in that case, I don't know if it's going to matter that much. Um, but I could see that, you know, becoming a larger issue if they do lock, you know, a, you know, other things around, you know, behind that. You know, I mean, for instance, whether there's a Smash Brothers character, you can only unlock by, you know, getting its amiibo figure, right? See, that, that's the kind of thing I don't think they'll do. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. I think there would be way too big a backlash. And they, and they already said several times during E3 that they weren't going to be locking content like characters and stages behind amiibo figures. I just feel like there would be too big a backlash. I yeah. mean, I, 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 get, I mean, anything's possible. I mean, at, at the end of the day, they are business and they exist to make money, certainly. So it's anything's possible. But I do feel like if, if there's anyone with the least potential to take advantage of this it, or it, uh, take advantage of consumers in this way, it's probably Nintendo. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. They, they, I mean, they've been very respectful with their DLC so far. Exactly, yeah. So, but but even but you know even locking this feature behind it when you don't have to is a little True. bit weird. Well, you can even say that about Skylanders in general. It's like Skylanders doesn't need to put uh, lock that content away that you have with the, with the figures, but that's how they get their money. Is and that's by, why I don't play Skylanders? Them. Exactly. <laughs> so right. that 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 is the balance. They got to make this feel like worth it. So you want to actually buy it, but you don't want to make it too valuable that you feel like you're getting ripped off if you don't have it mm -hmm. so it is a very tricky balance there and i'm not quite sure if they if like if they can do it i mean smash brothers is a good start but as you said do you really care about having a um a, a, a partner to fight with you against and fight you know your friends with yeah mm -hmm. that's the thing is that, is that the the content that's being locked behind these amiibo figures in smash brothers isn't it isn't super compelling content it's not something that everyone's going to want so in that, in that sense, I, I don't I don't see it as a super dangerous business model for Smash Brothers. But of course, the real question is the future. You know, right. Yoshi's Woolly World, Mario Party 10, things like that. You know, what kind of content will be locked in those games? Well, and actually, that, well, that's a good question. I mean, what kind of content do you think you guys they could lock behind these games? You know, again, we know about Yoshi's Woolly World, Captain Toad, Mario Party 10, and Mario Kart 8. And it's hard to think of offhand like what they could do besides yeah, just characters. Um, you know, I, mean, I think with Mario Kart 8, that would make, you know, I, with all of these, really, it would make some sense. Except, well, except for Captain Tilly Yoshi. But, like, what would they do with those games? Because... Well, well here's the question I have, even, left, even with just Mario Kart, is like, so far we know these figurines are definitely matched up for Smash Brothers. We, we, we have a picture here, we saw, we saw the figurines in, in display. Um, but here's the thing, there's only, the only Mario characters they actually have as amiibo figures so far is uh, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Mario, and Peach. All the rest are non-Mario games. Mm -hmm. So what, are, what could these four unlock? We already have these four characters as playable characters in Mario Kart uh, 8, so unless they each unlock a different kind of character for that game, what could they really? What, what are they? What would they really do? Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's yeah. what I'm having trouble wrapping my head around because, you know, you, if you'd think for a, having a new character in the game, you'd have that character's figure, but maybe they won't do that. I, I, it's I, hard to say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got me. I have no idea. Like one yeah. idea I have is, you know, it seems like collecting, you know, uh, gems or beads in Yoshi's Woolly World is going to be a thing. So what if you could, you know, take your Yoshi figurine? And have it, you, you know, act as a bank basically in Yoshi's Woolly World, and you know, transfer those to a friend's game or something. Um, that's that's really all I've got. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, there's, there are a lot of uses they could do with them. I mean, basically, each amiibo acts as a memory card, uh, just kind of a right. convoluted one. Well, I guess that I guess that is the advantage. We were talking about like how do you make it worthwhile to get these figures, and if you get in these other games, there's your worthwhile DLC. Usually, you only get it for that one game. If you get these figures. You know, you spend 15, 20 bucks, let's say, on each figure. That's still like, okay, if spending 15, 20 bucks, but it'll get it between five different games. That's true. So if you so you almost get it like, you know, five bucks a game, a DLC. Right. Now, it depends if you care about it or not. So that kind of makes the value a little bit better. But it's still, it's, it's wrapping your head about around what they could actually unlock. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. And the other question I have is, do these figures indicate potential Wii, Wii U games coming out for the system? Or if I can plug, if let's say I have uh, Pit's uh, Amiibo, plug them into Mario Kart 8. Do I unlock something related to, related to Pit in the game? Or is it just he unlocks, let's say, Birdo? as a character <laughs> right uh, how how does that work or, or is that an indication that we'll get these characters games in their uh on the system like are we gonna all of a sudden have a fire emblem game on there since we have a marth figure um 
and, yeah, well, there'll be stuff like that, you, you know? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I feel like with the whole the whole idea of Amiibo is to make it a more personalized or more focused thing, so I think, I mean, it would tie into that character in some way. But that kind of raises another point, is some characters, if they go that route, they'd be, you know, probably inherently more valuable than others. Like, yeah, where else are, where else is Marth going to be used, uh, besides right. you know, maybe in a Fire Emblem game? You know, with Mario, is in, you know, <laughs> like hundreds of games, right, over the course of years. <laughs> Uh, you know, so they, you know, basically Mario's more versatile. He could appear in more stuff than, you know, a Marth or a Game of Watch or something. Well, there's all, this also begs the question of whether each game is, uh, is going to have its own line of Amiibo figures. I mean, I, uh, I just read an interview recently, uh, with, uh, Nintendo's developers that they're calling this line the Smash Brothers line of Amiibo figures. So, and, and we know that they use, you know, the Smash Brothers character designs, as we've seen. They're basically, you know, figurine versions of the Smash Brothers key art for each character. So it may be that each game, or at least a few different games, will get their own line of amiibo figures. So that, you know, the Mario figure for Smash Brothers may not necessarily work for Mario Party 10. Or it might. I'm just saying, so far it does seem like they're calling this the Smash Brothers line. So I think we can at least expect there to be different lines of amiibo figures down the road. Mm -hmm. The the way I kind of see that is... Maybe there's different Mario figures, like one based on Galaxy, one based on New Super Mario Brothers, one based on Smash, one right. based on Mario Party, that sort of thing. But they all unlock the same content amongst right. all the games. You just pick right. your favorites. Uh, that'd be my guess with them. But then, but it also drives into that whole collecting market. Yeah, they all do the same thing, but this one's slightly different. This is, you know, fire. You know, this is uh, fire uh, flower Mario, and he, you know, he doesn't unlock anything different, but he is a different figurine. So exactly, deviously, that's what makes these things so damn devious. <laughs> yeah, what's kind of ironic is I don't even really care about any content they content they may or may not unlock. You just want the I just figures. Want them, yeah, I just want the figures because they're so cool. They do look awesome. I'll give them that. They do look really cool. Um, I just, yeah, I mean, I guess for me, you know, I, I'm not a collector anymore. Um, so I kind of wish you didn't have to deal with the figures at all. <laughs> right. Like, you know, if you, and maybe, you know, maybe they'll offer that functionality. Maybe you can just, de- you know, maybe, maybe that's how they'll do it too. Maybe like if you have the figure, if you have the figure and you unlock this content for free, um, or you can just pay to download this DLC, for instance, assuming they do something along those lines that, you know, that could work, you know, like unlocking character skins or costumes or whatever else. That'd be an intelligent way to do it. I mean, you get the people like you who don't want to bother with the figures but still want the content, or you get the people like me and Ash who love the figures and we get the bonus of getting that DLC. Mm-hmm. So I'm also wondering, is like, what else could they do with this? I mean, you know, with Skylanders, you're swapping characters. You know, it's basically an elaborate character selection screen. Um, Smash Brothers, you know, we see them. You know, you're basically raising a character, um, and so beyond raising a character and using it as unlocks. Do you guys have any other ideas for what they might be able to do with this? I and mean, I guess I did mention the you know, potential Yoshi Bank feature, which I don't think they'll do anyway. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, like, what is there any other potential you can see for these guys beyond you know that basic functionality we've seen so far? I mean, the only thing that really comes to mind is just character skins. I mean, like, I, I, that's the thing I'm having so much trouble with is trying to figure out what exactly they'll do. Um, I mean, I mean, you you talk about Skylanders being basically in. in just a glorified character selection screen. Disney Infinity is kind of kind of like that as well, but it's also kind of a scenario thing. So maybe you get different scenarios by mm-hmm. having these characters as you know, as putting up pop, popping them on there. And let's say you get a new uh, planet or uh, new levels or something like that for Mario. Um, I also, maybe for Mario Party 10, you know, you could not only unlock a new character with each amiibo, but maybe get five new mini games or two new mini games or something like that, you know? Right. Which is kind of, you know, it's kind of like a small amount of content, but it still adds something beyond just a new playable character. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I don't know, may, maybe uh, for Zelda, let's say, you know, Zelda Wii U uses the amiibo uh, figures, you could possibly have them insert like uh, new or exclusive NPCs into the game from which you can get exclusive side quests, you know? I, I don't know. It's really hard to yeah. kind of see how this could actually work. I mean, uh, you know, with F Zero, I could see something like let's say they make a new F Zero game. I could see new cars being unlocked easily. That, right. that that would be kind of a cool way to do that. Well, I guess, and actually, well, speaking of which, like, I guess that's something else I could do, like with Mario Kart. Like, what if you could buy like different carts and you, know, you scan them in and you play as that cart? Like, basically, you know, a new cart would introduce three new parts into the game. Um, you know. Right. Uh, that's yeah. You know, I guess again, that's basically just unlocking content, but that is something else they could do. 
uh, that might make sense. Maybe you can go buy a Mercedes Benz. I was gonna say they'll have a Mercedes Benz Amiibo, then a Honda Amigo Amiibo, or Porsche Amiibo. Yeah. Um, I guess my final question then is, how do you guys think this will be received? Do you think this is gonna do super well? Because you know whether you know, regardless of whether or not I ultimately end up you know liking these, um, I think this has vast potential for Nintendo to do really quite well. I mean, we've seen how well Skylanders is doing. Um, and Nintendo has way stronger IP than anything in Skylanders, you know. I mean, Spyro is <laughs> right. our lead guy, and it's it's actually remarkable it's done as well as it has <laughs> with Spyro. Um, so Spyro can do that well. Uh, I think this could be, you know, huge for Nintendo. The, the biggest thing is it's just that we use the stall base of small, but they do have the 3DS, um, you know, accessibility as well. So that kind of, you know, it, it, they are really trying to reach out to everyone with this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think parents will hate it, and I think kids will love it, and I think collectors will love it too. I mean, you know, big kids, I think, you know, I think they'll love it as well. So I think, I think it'll go over very well with everyone except parents who don't like, who don't care about video games because yeah. their kids are going to want it. But I mean, just look at Disney Infinity. People were super excited about that, and you know, quality of the actual game aside, collectors were super excited about the figures, and they still are. Right. So I think that alone, I mean, Nintendo has some of the most iconic characters in the world. And, uh, you know, let alone in video games. So, you know, I think that alone is an obvious incentive for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I I think you brought this up during E3, Ash, is that it's kind of rare for Nintendo to have official merchandise about their characters. And this is one of those rare instances where they do. Yeah. So, right there, that makes it even more collectible, makes it even more interesting because this is official stuff from Nintendo. And Nintendo was historically a toy company so <laughs> um yeah i mean i i could already see myself picking up some of these depending on the price um hopefully the, i'm really hoping they're not too bad but i'm but i'm expecting something along the lines of skylanders or disney but hopefully they'll have like dual packs like those games where you can just get multiple yeah. figures in the box and sort of do it that way um i mean we saw in an uh, interview that they that it is planned to have every character in in smash brothers uh, to have their own figurine, which, holy crap! <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. You're looking at at least forty characters right there. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's that's a lot. They're all like ten bucks each. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see where Nintendo's going with this. Um, yeah, I'm I am curious to see what all they do. I mean, I do hope they have some more inventive uses for them than just you know unlocks. And granted, we've seen that already with Smash Brothers and. You know, who knows what else they've got planned for these other games. It's I really have the fog as to what else they could do beyond, you know, as you mentioned, you know, as we mentioned, you know, uh, characters unlocks or character scans in Mario Party or Mario Kart. Um, yeah, Captain Toad and the Yoshi's Woolly World are like really the two strange ones here. Um, I have no idea what they could do. Like maybe, like I, I don't know, maybe it'll just change something small in the game, like change like a background to be themed to a character or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what they could possibly do with those games either. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, like, I guess I could see, actually, one idea is have a Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, going off my analysis, because you collect gems in that game like you do in uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. And uh, in that game, you could decorate Kirby's house, you know, using those gems to buy, I think, new furniture and whatnot. So maybe you could buy, get, like, furniture, you know, they do something similar in Yoshi's Woolly World, maybe you get furniture based on characters in the game. That, that, that just makes me shudder at the possibilities uh, for Amiibo for Animal Crossing Wii U, when that, oh. whenever that comes out, that's going to be... <laughs> Oh That's my. almost too much to think about. You you know what? Yeah, if they do make Animal Crossing Wii U, that it's definitely. I feel like it's going to support Amiibo for sure. Oh, absolutely. Oh god, no, yeah, there's, yeah. There's Just no yeah. having a different Amiibo for every town's person. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's gonna be. I I don't want to think about it. Yeah, because you can scan in characters to get like yeah different costume sets, for instance. Yeah, but those games have you know have tons of Nintendo elements in them. Unlock furniture sets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, I didn't want to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, to think of all the money sunk into this. All right, well, I think that wraps up our Amiibo discussion, so thanks, guys, for watching. Um, if you liked our discussion, make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at GameExplained, which you can find links to in the description below. And, of course, keep an eye on GameExplained.com for more on Amiibo and other things gaming as well. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. Now, stop. <laughs>